<coughs> hey everybody, I think we're live. Hello, Lego Geek. Welcome to the show. Um, sort of a middle of the day kind of stream because um, we're gonna do something tonight, so the regular schedule's a little off. Um, and today is my birthday, so I'm going to um, do something that I have wanted to do for a while. My uh, lovely girlfriend, Beth, has uh, purchased for me for my birthday the Ideas Set 232131 Voltron. Um, and this was a set that came out last year, late last year, and I'm very excited to uh, <clears throat> to be unboxing this and building it with you all today. Very excited. This is from my childhood, and um, just I couldn't be happier to get this. This was a um, Father's Day present, uh, birthday present, some other present stuff. Um, yes. Post update on the Capitol. I'll get to that maybe in a second, but um, I'll be unboxing this in a little bit. So that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna slide this over here. I'm sorry for the backlighting. Um, it's the middle of the day, so I don't really have a studio or anything to keep that from lighting up everything, so. Um, <clears throat> thank you, TLG, for that. Um, today we're gonna start off with a Austin Amber again. This is what I've been drinking. I'm, I've switched the cameras and stuff a little bit so I have more room to show on the builds. But So I'm going to do that and um, this uh, Super Knot again, Cookies and Cream Stout, 13% alcohol by volume. This is a kick in the pants, so we're going to do that. Um, later tonight, we're going to be watching Terminator and the Terminator 2 because Beth has never seen either of those. So we're going to be watching those later because they just became available on Netflix, I guess. Um, one away from 50 subs. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. If you're new to this channel and you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Um, also, if you're if you're shouting out from um, Twitter or Mixer, Twitter, Twitch or Mixer, let me know. Um, I made a change to um, the categories on Mixer, I think, uh, to be a creative, because I'm not playing games, um, just doing Lego stuff. Um, uh, building, designing, uh, occasionally doing sets like this, building my own stuff. Uh, so welcome to it. Um, hi, Angie. Good to. Uh, thanks for joining us on the on the on the chat this afternoon. Um, again, it's a little earlier because uh, we're doing some stuff with our friends tonight. So and it's my birthday, and I want to do it. So there you go. Normally this would be in the evening sometime, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem for anybody. Um, so if you haven't seen. I might be able to do this pretty easily. Um, the full, I can probably turn this pretty easily. The full capital uh, dome, it's done. That's the full capital dome. Um, I finished it up Friday night before we went out with another friend of ours whose birthday is this week. Um, so the dome is all done. Um, you can see that it's a little shifty in some of the panels and if I move the table they kind of wobble a little bit. They're not attached up top. So I'm going to have my architecture friends help me figure that out. Um, <laughs> yes. Hi Cheryl and Dara and uh, Pep and Dad. Hi Dad. Um, I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, she's never seen the Terminator and I've been trying to get her to watch it for a while but um, it's just not something she's been interested in, but our uh, neighbors have finally convinced her that it needs to happen. So we're gonna do that tonight. We're also kind of catching up on Buffy. So that's our plans for the night. So I'm very excited to do, and I'm gonna have some, I just hit 50, yay, 50 subscribers, do the dance. I think I had 50 before and like I lost one, so I'm not terribly concerned, but um, I'm going to try to keep track of, they're supposed to have fixed um, getting Facebook chats into the chat screen as well. So if I jump back and forth between two chats, it's that, um, hey, you got to turn that down. Okay. It's all right. Um, hi, Claire. Hi, Bethany. Although Bethany's right over here. Yeah, she was taking a nap. 
Today I got for my birthday from my lovely uh, kids and their moms, uh, I got a weighted blanket. And I'm not a big nap taker, but Beth is, so she's testing it for me. Um, I am excited to get that because uh, my daughter got one for her birthday or graduation. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was graduation or birthday. I don't know. They're, they were like a month apart. And um, <clears throat> so, yes, thank you, Dad. It is, it's a fun Lego build, uh, the Capitol. Um, I, I'd show you the rest of it in the other room. It's gotten to the point where I can almost start putting the roof on it, so I might be able to do that this week. And then the rest is just going to be taken to Brick Fiesta. Brick Fiesta, July 4th through the 7th at the Renaissance Hotel in Austin. If you're not already going, the public days are the 6th and the 7th. That's when you can pay your $15 and come in and look at all the wonderful mocks and buy stuff from vendors and participate in events and things like that. Um, and you can see the Capitol being built because it's not going to be done by then. But it'll be, the dome will be done, the majority of the walls and the outside will be done, so we'll be kind of fixing the roof um, while we're there. And we have a couple months until it, it's going to go live at the visitor center, so uh, I think people will enjoy watching it being built, um, but it won't be nearly complete. Um, it's still got a good 5% to go, probably, maybe 10%. But we did what we could in two months. I mean, it's 65,000 pieces, and in two months, I think, uh, the lug did a really great job of trying to get that put together. So um, I appreciate all the help they gave me. Um, a lot of people came over and helped build. I uh, got a guy who built the tables out for it so it could live on those. Had a lot of people donating parts. Um, so it's fun. We'll see how it goes. But <clears throat> to the video of today, and I'll keep talking while we're doing this, this is the unboxing and building of this wonderful set. The Voltron... Um, 2131 set, um, it's an idea set, which means um, it was some, somebody designed this, uh, a fan of LEGO designed this and then it got enough votes and then LEGO came in and helped finish it out and then created its own set. Now this is the same type of thing that the owl that I have, um, this is the same thing, this is the same ideas uh, idea. So, <clears throat> same idea as idea. Okay, so, taped box, taped front. Um, the box, you can see, I'm gonna do this for a second. Unboxing, I'll have to tag this later. So, just a tape top, and you can see all the ideas, stuff on the back here, talking about the program a little bit. Um, this is the 22nd Lego Ideas set. Not really sure what the other ones were. Um, so, I'm gonna flip this bag over now to this. So we've got bags, numbered bags. Nice crinkly sound. Will I be living in a Lego house soon? Not like the one they have in uh, Denmark, but the majority of the stuff in my house right now is either Lego or Star Wars. Um, and Beth is very patient, but to be honest, she doesn't have anything as equally obsessive as I do. And if she did, then it would also be all over the house. So this just happens to be the one thing. So, yeah, it's not Lego built, but it's, so I'm gonna set all these bags aside. There are 14 bags at the very least. So I'm gonna put these over here. That's number two, I'll probably get to that soon. So here's what the instructions come in. And there's probably a little manual about, uh, or a little instruction bit about each of those. So I'll get to those in a second. Let's get the rest of these bags out. Look at all these bags. It's a lot of bags. Oh, there's one left. It's in there. So that's it for the box. It's got the actual size of the shield or whatever here, probably. Um, some old time, some old uh, TV show artwork. And see them forming Voltron. Um, there is, and of course, there's the new show, the new Voltron show on Netflix, which was fantastic. Uh, if you're a fan of Voltron at all, then um, um, check it out because it, it's really, really good. I think it's done by the same people who did the Avatar, Avatar the Airbender TV show, same writers. So um, uh, definitely check it out. 
Uh, so work for NASA, yes, Dad. Um, there's actually a member of the Texas LEGO user group who has done several NASA sets and they are breathtaking. The gantry that the rockets get hauled out over, um, <clears throat> um, like, like the, the building that houses the shuttle, um, all kinds of uh, satellites and rockets and stuff, they're really good. Um, and I don't know if she's worked for NASA or just really likes um, rockets and stuff, but there's some very good sets. Um, but yeah, it's a, it was an endeavor. It was definitely an endeavor to get all those um, pieces together and sorted and put together in the right place. And I'll be, I'll be glad, I'm, I'm really glad that I did it, but I'll be glad when it's out of my house. Bag one looks like the yellow lion. So we'll probably start there, yellow lion. I just cleaned up enough space on the kitchen table here to be able to do this. Um, the capital took up all of my kitchen table to get all the pieces in here and be able to work with it and everything. So um, again, I'll be glad when it's out of here. We'll take it to the convention and then it'll have to come back here for a while because it'll probably need to be finished up, but the it won't go right to the visitor center. They still need to make sure it's ready. They've got a place for it. So again, pretty basic numbered bags. It looks like all the first parts are, uh, the first bags are gonna be, I probably should have kept those out. Um, I need a better place for these guys. Maybe I'll just put them over here. Line them up. So there's one, there's four, six. It looks like the first four bags are all gonna be lions. And then, or a connector bit, like a lot of connection stuff, that's three. So, we'll just get some of these over here and maybe we'll get to opening one of them. 15, yeah, I'm out of room over there. So here's the manuals. <coughs> Thanks, Lego Geek. Uh, hopefully they do join. Um, this is not really something that I do. Is the chat working? I think so. I mean, I see, let me post, hello. Yeah, I see that it's posting to Mixer and Twitch and YouTube and Facebook. I see people on Facebook. So it's working. Um, Restream said, and I'm sorry if the crinkling is being picked up by the mic. Um, that's very loud. So I'm not gonna keep the box because it's just a box. Restream said that they've got the integration um, for Facebook chat working, but I don't see it. So I don't know exactly when they're gonna get that fixed. It'd be nice to not have to look at like three different screens and whatnot, but anyway. So it looks like book one is gonna be the yellow lion. Uh, book two is the blue, book three is the black. It's a little thicker. You can tell it's a little thicker. It's a bigger lion. Four and five are really small because they're the arms, so they're gonna be a little smaller in part sizes. And then book six is gonna be probably how to put it all together. So this will be all the lions. And then my guess is it'll be, great, you've got the lions built, now let's put them all together. And it's gonna, it'll have the sword and shield and that kind of stuff. So as much as I would like to, ideally, you get two sets. You have one as Voltron and you have one as just the lions. That would be pretty cool, but I don't have, how much was this, 180? So I don't have $360, 180, and this was a gift, so. And look at this, this is actually really great. This is it for stickers. I do not like stickers and I will probably be putting these on them because this will be a display model, I'm not gonna, um, take this apart anytime soon. So I don't mind putting stickers on stuff that's a display model. Um, but I much, I would much prefer uh, printed tiles than sticker tiles. Um, I think I'm not in the minority in terms of uh, that feeling for most AFALs. I think we would all rather printed tiles. Printed tiles do, however, kind of limit what you can do, or printed parts can limit you to what you can do. Um, with that part, but also if you have a sticker, you have to take that sticker off later and what do you do with it? Do you keep the sticker? Do you keep the pack or the sheet that the sticker comes on and then put it on somewhere later? 
Um, most of the time when I get stickers like this, I just I put them in the instruction book and then forget about them because um, I don't ever put stickers on anything. So anyway, yeah, unboxed, there we go. And uh, so let's get to building. Uh, this will probably take a few hours, so I don't think I'm gonna get it done this time. Um, so we can talk about stuff, uh, whatever anyone wants to talk about. Beth is on her phone taking a nap in my new weighted blanket. Hey, you know what you should break out? What? You should go get us some more red vines. Okay. So it's the so other gift I... Right I know it is. It's very hard to get off out of a weighted blanket. So the other gift I got um, from Cheryl and Claire, I think mostly Cheryl because she found them and teased me with them at first, but I got a big three and a half pound jar or bucket of red vines. I love shot. red vines. You're not in the shot. Because you just woke up from a nap and you're looking rough. Anyway, I love red vines, so she got um, me a bucket of red vines, so I'm very excited about that. Yes, Lego Geek, it was good seeing you. I, I'll be on till 4.30, so this is, this is birthday present number two. Look at how big that is. That's so great. And I don't care who you are, red vines are better than Twizzlers. I disagree. Yeah, I know you disagree, but I bet they go really great with beer. I need to get rid of these. So I'm almost ready for Brick Fiesta. We're gonna open up bag one. I've got to finish the stands for my other micro fighters. And uh, I got the parts for those in today, or yesterday. Some nice anti-ASMR with the crinkling bags. And here's all the pieces. What a lovely sound. What a lovely bit of gristelling that is. Ooh, these bags are real heavy. Gotta make sure, you gotta flatten them out. Make sure you don't have any pieces in them. And in the box they go. So here's that pile. So yeah, growing up, it was all about Voltron for me. Really liked um, Robotech and Voltron. And um, shows like Transor Z and everything with giant robots in it. Um, so the legend goes that there was this is Defender of the Universe. Um, Voltron was always billed as Defender of the Universe. So, um, the thing they don't say is it's Defender of the Far Universe. In the show, they got there really far away from Earth. Um, the Galaxy Garrison had sent some explorers to find this planet or something like that or discover the legend of Voltron. So, they do. Uh, it's these five lines. So the near universe, and I got stuff in my teeth now. The near universe Voltron was the vehicle Voltron. And if you're a fan of Voltron, you know what that is. That was 15 different ships. It was air, sea, and land. And then each ship formed, combined to form a larger ship and then each of those would form a big robot. So it was almost kind of like a Thunderbirds thing on top of it. Um, and then <clears throat> something that was very unknown was the Voltron of the middle universe or the Albigas uh, Voltron. And it was called Albigas because it was an abbreviation for Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. And there were three robots the very nondescript looking, just kind of square and boxy-ish, that would combine to form one larger robot. And they were the middle universe. Um, and <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that I had, at one point, an Albigas set. They were very hard to find, and I'm not exactly sure that I remember it correctly. I either had one or I saw one in a store. <clears throat> and of course now I'm losing my voice. Um, I'm gonna keep these a little closer. <clears throat> so I have to keep reaching for them. So yeah, I had a, I remember the Albagas set and it was, 
it was very weird. It was almost like if you got a bunch of um, um, Ironhide Transformer sets and then just put them together. Is that purple? Yeah. Oh, wrong side. So I have to keep, remind myself to build over here where everybody can see it. Um, so Voltron was a huge thing for me growing up. We actually, I, I think I've tried to build this out of Lego on my own several times, um, especially the vehicle one because the vehicle one was kind of easy to build. So here's something I think Beth's mom, Lisa, is watching. This is something she'll appreciate. See all these colors? That's really interesting because none of these colors you're gonna see in the final product. You're pretty much only gonna see the gray and the yellow. But all the interior stuff, they give them these weird colors. And I don't know why. I mean, this aqua color or this turquoise is not a super common color. And this pink is not, I mean, it's not an uncommon color, but it's just weird that they would choose those as sort of like not placeholders. Oh, and then there's, I mean, purple. There's a purple little one by one in there too. Just very interesting sometimes when they do that. The uh, yellow submarine was a good example of, there's just a lot of very uh, vibrant colors in that set, but you never really see them. <clears throat> so again, I'm taking a break from, I did some capital building this morning. I'm taking a break from that so I can do this because it's my birthday and this is what I want to do. Um, I probably should be doing more capital stuff, but I think I'm gonna be working on that Monday and Tuesday, like all night, getting as much done as I can. And then I've gotta worry about getting it to the convention center um, or to the hotel. But luckily I've got some lug friends who are owners of minivans and SUVs so that we'll be able to fold the seats down and take them section by section. And if we have to do um, multiple trips, that's fine. I'm gonna have to sit in on at least one of them so I can feel, you know, okay about letting somebody else drive it somewhere. Because um, I'm a little, I'm a little worried about what's gonna happen in the drive over. But as long as it survives and then it survives getting back over here, we can rebuild it. It's just Lego. So put these back up. Yeah, can I have one more? I think it twists. Just like twist and pull. Arr, thank y'all. <clears throat> Twizzler, or uh, red vine. Original red, red vine. I say they're not as good, this is my third one. What the hops is hosting us? Thank you very much, what's the hops? Thank you. Is it Tucker? Thank you, Tucker. Thank you, David Hi, Tucker. Tucker. Beth and or Cease. Beth says hello. Thanks for the host. I think I fixed my mixer issue with, uh, I added uh, creative. I put that I was under creative. So that should be all right. Because at some point I'm gonna be making my own stuff. I'm not just gonna be doing this. And thank you for the birthday wishes. <clears throat> uh, if you were building Voltron today, the Voltron set. That's what we're doing today. You're welcome. Yeah, this is my birthday present from Beth. Birthday slash Father's Day slash other yeah. other reasons to um, celebrate. All that is nerdiness. So uh, let's see. So Tucker, it, just for your edification, uh, doing Independence Brewing the Austin Amber, and then for later doing the uh, more of the Super Knot, the uh, cream soda, cookies and cream stout, that one. It's the 13% ABV. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, getting ready for power hour. I'm training for power hour. So every year a friend of ours puts on power hour, which is I guess if you've been to college, you probably know what a power hour is. You basically drink as much beer as you can in an hour. But you do it, uh, he will um, curate uh, an hour's worth of, yeah, the cookies and cream is really tasty. 
to curate an hour's worth of video clips, so a minute, a, a video clip a minute, and every minute that goes by, you take a shot of beer. And the idea is to get just completely hammered in an hour. But we've been doing this for like, they've been doing it forever, for like 10, 11 years, and I think I've been doing it for about seven. And I feel like it takes me a year to recover every time. So I don't know how much we'll be doing. And it's just a good excuse to get together with friends and watch some stupid videos and laugh and be merry and celebrate the 4th of July, that kind of thing. Um, but I don't know how much I'll be plowing through that much beer. As much as I like the taste of it, I like the taste of stuff like this that's like really high ABV and it's thick and you can eat it with a fork and, um, but it has a good flavor, you know. Otherwise you're just drinking seven Coronas in an hour and it's just like, ah. Okay, so this is like a soul, I believe. Again, gotta make sure, okay, this is the hot spot. This is the hot spot. I'm not used to building in front of folk. So I gotta remember where the camera is pointing. <clears throat> um, so yeah, nothing else going on today. I went to uh, have lunch with, or brunch with the family. And we went to a local place, uh, Green Greenhouse Cafe, which is a kind of one of the farm to table um, eateries. And I thought it was uh, just the one location, but apparently they've got another location up in um, Georgetown. And it's, it's just a good place, I like it. I like, they have a, not a great selection of beer, but a fairly decent selection of beer. Hi, Josh. Thanks for joining us. Um, they got a pretty decent selection of beer, but all the food's fantastic. It's all very tasty. And um, so I went and had a um, pulled pork and avocado on toast, and then an egg on that. And then it had some stuff drizzled on it and a cup of fruit, and it was just, mwah. It was very good. And some beignets, because every time you go, you have to order beignets. And it's funny because Greg comes up to me and he's like, what is, that, what is that word at the top of the menu? I was like, beignets? He's like, what is that? I was like, French donuts, basically. And he's like, ah, all right. I was like, I'm gonna get an order of them, so you just have some when we get them. And I have to, we had to tell him not to breathe in when you take a bite because otherwise you just breathe in all the uh, powdered sugar and then it's a fallout situation. So this always, yeah, never mind. I always do this. I always think, I panic and I go, I'm, I'm missing a piece. They didn't include a piece. And then all it is is I got to move a piece around and it's right there. So I really need to relax. But it's because I just love this so much. So Tucker, how did your stream go? I see you guys went live just a little while ago. Was it a good, good stream? I was playing Battlefront and getting ready for this, so I, I, I didn't jump in, sorry about that. Next time. <clears throat> so I realize this is probably not as interesting as like my own stuff, but you know, whatever. I just try to keep chatting. Keep talking. And let me know if you can't hear music because I got music playing. I don't know if you can tell that or not, Beth. She's on her, she's on her phone. She doesn't care. So here's a, oh, yep, it's right there. Almost panicked. Did you see that? Did you see it in the face? Did I talk about the, uh, it's hard to say because there's like, I wanna say um, to all the regular viewers, if I had talked about uh, the RQ4 um, incident from New York, did I talk about that last time? Hey Beth. Yes sir. Do you remember if I talked about the airplane um, that I built and the Instagram and the Thing shot down last time. All right. Well, I'll talk about it again. Um, so we were in New York, 
and I built this, you guys have probably seen it on uh, Instagram or something like that. Um, it's a drone plane for the Air Force called an RQ-4 Global Hawk. And um, a friend wanted it for her uh, wife who was actually in the Air Force. That's not... Is that right? <laughs> well, I may have messed that up. Um, anyway, sorry, I'm taking a second to look at this because I think I messed it up. One second. Yeah, it's just the one. Okay, interesting. Um, so anyway, I built this thing and while we're in New York, I open up my phone and I see that I'm getting a lot of direct, direct messages from, or uh, comments on it suddenly, because it's been posted forever, but I'm getting comments suddenly from all these uh, accounts. Hello, Relevant Yeti, how are you? Thanks for joining. Um, we're building the Voltron Ideas set and talking about Lego stuff and drinking beer. So thanks for, thanks for coming in. Um, so I check uh, my feed and there's all these comments on the RQ4 and it's all these Middle Eastern names. And I'm like, not that, you know, that never happens, but just uh, there's a lot of them. And I'm like, what is going on? And it's all these comments about how this plane was like raping their country and the the, the giant that is whatever has been destroyed, the $200 million giant. I'm like, this is really weird. So I check on like BBC and CNN and I can't find any news about it. And I'm like, well, what's going on? So I was like, okay, well, these are, let me check Al Jazeera. So I check Al Jazeera sh uh, site and sure enough, an RQ-4 had been shot down over Iranian airspace, according to them. According to the State Department, it was shot down over international waters, and this was in a result to like Iraqi bombing of an oil tanker or something like that. So, um, whatever the case is, now that now there's a bunch of people searching for images of it and links to it, and of course they find mine on uh, Instagram, and they're you know they're railing against it. And I'm like, I have no idea this that this happened. I didn't build it to be sent over there and blow things up, but. But at the same time, the interesting was, it was several hours until it got picked up by Western media, which I thought was interesting. So anyway, that's that story. So that plane will be at Brick Fiesta, and I'm not sure if it's gonna be the right thing to do or not. Um, it might be, uh, might be a questionable choice. And it'd be like, I'm gonna have to adjust something that's bothering me. Um, it might be like, hey, I built this, you know, I'm a big Lego fan and I built this U-2 spy plane in the 60s and uh, taking it to this uh, this thing. I don't know. I may be overreacting, but we'll see. I like when Lego does this, when they like change up the, the isometrics of the, uh, the instructions a little bit. You can't really see it. That top one, number 20 just ever so slightly to show you that something's different about this one. Make sure you pay attention to it. When I'm doing instructions for all my little micro fighters, I have to do that occasionally because sometimes it's like the, the regular 30 degree view is not cutting it. So I've got to um, adjust it a bit so you can see what is important and where the pieces go. <clears throat> That's interesting. So we'll do that one. So I'm really looking forward to this. I've heard it was kind of a boring set to put together, but the end result is really cool. It gets a little repetitive because you're gonna you're basically making five of these lions, and you you know this these these first two are gonna be the same um, every time, and uh, you know slight differences, and then the red and blue or red and green one are gonna be the same. The black one will be different, but 
I don't know, even the the Saturn V was, it, it was repetitive, but it was still a fun build. There was still a lot that, um, still a lot that was uh, unique about the build itself. Uh, a lot of new techniques and whatnot. Would you guys like to see the instructions too? I don't know how anybody's really looking at this. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if that means anything or anything. So, where were we? Right. Something I found pretty unique or pretty interesting, pretty unique, that's not a good phrase. Something I found interesting, I went back a couple, like a year ago, there was an event that we were doing for, I think it was Maker Fair, and our lug usually participates in Maker Fair, um, the one in Austin. And um, I was going back to rebuild a monorail set that I had as a kid, but instead of doing it regular Futuron monorail, I did it as Blacktron which just meant instead of white and black pieces with like trans blue and trans red, I did all black with just trans yellow and trans red. And um, I had to, you know, order a couple parts and get some parts from some friends and uh, get them put together. Um, and the monorail is kind of a, it's not a holy grail set, but a lot of people remember it as a kid. And for whatever reason, it was a $200 set, and which means it was a little expensive for the time, but also everybody seemed to have it. Um, so anyway, um, I was struck by how not um, leading the instructions were as much. Like this, I don't know if you can really tell, but it's like, it's like one part at a time, right? It's like one piece, one piece, one piece, one piece, very few pieces at a time. And it shows you in the upper corner which pieces you're using. Um, the old instructions for the old Futuron set was very much, here's one page of what it looks like, here's, an, here's another image, these are all the new things that are added. It doesn't tell you what parts they are, it doesn't highlight them, it's just like here's a, you know, it's a spot the difference image. Here's what it was, here's what it is now. You figure it out. And it was, it was really interesting to go back to that because I was like, you know, we still got them put together. So it wasn't, you know, apparently very difficult. So I don't know why, if enough people complained or something, but, oh, this is a good song. This sounds really good. So how's everybody's Sunday going? It's the Sunday before a kind of a short week. What you all doing today? Anybody grilling? Anybody getting ready for the fourth? Anybody got family coming into town? What's on y'all's plates? Let me know. Mostly just to make sure that the chats are still working. In fact, I'm gonna flip over here real quick just to make sure. Oh, there's a mixer. Cool. So, all right. <clears throat> uh, this reminds me that this isn't the same game, but <clears throat> I think, uh, what's the um, Mario draw is out today. So, is that right? Mario Art or Mario Party or something like that. It's the one where you can create a bunch of stuff. And I know my kid wants it. Um, I got him a stylus for his uh, Smash level building, but I think he also wanted to use it for this when it came out. So we're gonna have to get that next. Taekwondo class, huh? I took Taekwondo back in the day. I took it when I was a kid. Me and my brother both took it. My brother and I both took it. Um, with my dad too, um, oddly enough, who's in the chat or was in the chat, and uh, it was like in every it was like Thursdays, like every other Thursday kind of thing. And uh, then when I got, I, I stopped when I was in high school, and then I got back to it in college, 
And when I got back into it in college, I told the instructor, I was like, all right, look, I got up to high red when I was a kid and I still remember a lot of this stuff. Can I just test up to a certain level and then go from there? Because I, I don't honestly remember all of it, but I remember a good chunk of it. And so they, they were like, yeah, you can, you can test as high as you want. Just, you know, we'll have to make sure that you know it and whatever. So I was like, yeah, that's great. So I tested up and got to high red again and I never got my black belt. And then um, years later I'd moved to Austin and uh, a girlfriend of mine at the time and I both took Taekwondo and it was the same thing where I was like, look, I kind of know this already. Um, can I go ahead and test up? And they're like, yeah, you can test up. But it was one of these things where it was like, it was a new location and they were trying to get, um, um, they, they'd already had one far north and so they're trying out a new location a little more central. But it was in like the rec room of a church because there's only a handful of people. And a couple times it was just me and the instructor. So it was a little awkward. Um, and he was a little younger than I was, but he was in pretty good shape. And most of the time, since I didn't need help working on, there were, there were subtle differences from the way I learned it and the way it was currently being taught, but not enough to where I needed to start over. And so we worked on weapons, you know, we worked on uh, staffs and um, the, the billy club kind of things that are about that long. And we just worked on, you know, clack, 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 back and forth kind of stuff. But after a while, I just, I stopped going because I was like, we couldn't make time for it and um, it was just, it was a lot of money for very little um, because half the time they would cancel the class too. So, so then when my kids got into um, Enshin, Enshin Karate and then eventually Kickstart, they did Enshin first through uh, the rec center, which they thought was fun, but you know, it was, it was mostly, mostly for little kids, so it was kind of hard to keep them interested. But then they got into um, Kickstart, which is a Chuck Norris um, martial art, which is Chung Kun Do, which is his own version of Taekwondo. And they, you know, Greg's still doing it. Um, Rowan kind of had to stop because she was getting ready for college and there was a lot going on with like, she was in debate and band and she was the drum major for a band. So she had to stop going. It's so one of those things where it's like, well, you gotta pick, you know, pick one thing, cause you can't do everything at once. Stupid curve wrecking kids and they're being able to do everything. But she got high red as well. So that's about as far as I got, which I thought was kind of interesting. And I don't know if Greg will take it all the way to get black belt or not, we'll see. He was doing that and cheer because he was the mascot and uh, band. So, I mean, he was doing a ton of stuff. And, you know, and we would get on him for, you know, their grades or something like that. But then I kept thinking, man, when I was their age, I was barely in anything and I was, wasn't making it. So, uh-oh, I missed a step. Like, I missed a lot of steps, apparently. Look at me, not doing that whole thing. Oh, that's because there was a ton of them there. I was gonna get on them for not, leaving this bit open right here but I just forgot to put a bunch of stuff on there so yeah Taekwondo was fun I always make the joke that uh, I am now qualified to defend myself as long as somebody comes at me in a set uh, pattern shouting instructions at me about what they're gonna do that's the joke <laughs> your mom's funny she's singing to me and Beth can't hear anyway She's not listening. That's some unique stuff right there. I like these slopes. I'm not sure if that's gonna be the top or what, but that's that's a nice, it just looks pleasing. I'm guessing that's probably gonna be a cockpit of some kind. I'm surprised at this scale that they don't have minifigures for it too. Uh, I would have thought that would have been a really great sell for this set was to have the Galaxy Garrison or the, the Paladins. I guess they weren't Paladins back then, they were just the the Voltron Force. <clears throat> Mondays and Thursdays. That's that's dedication. I mean, that you'll get you'll get really good at that with some time. Oh, that is pink. Mm -mm -mm. 
So I'm very excited about this set because this is one that I've been watching as it was released when it was first put into ideas and everyone was just watching it and voting for it. And I was like, man, I really hope that makes it as a set. And then it did and I was like, oh, I gotta get it. And then I didn't for a really long time. So I was really concerned that um, I would miss out on it. Little FOMO action. Uh, I think I need to turn the AC on. It's getting warm in here for some reason. I was noticing the other day, you've belted up once already. Cool, well congratulations. Are you, does that make you a gold belt? Are you a, uh, a high white? I don't think they do high white. I think it's just gold belt, right? I think gold is the first one. White is to show innocence and gold is to be the, uh, the sun rising to show the, the rising of the intellect or the rising of the um, the abilities. Something like that, if I remember my, my studies correctly. Yeah, yellow, gold. So it's funny, when my kids were taking uh, Chung Kun Do, the kickstart stuff, their forms were very similar to the forms that I had Oh, God, I missed it. Oh, no, these are, this is new. They were very similar, so it was, it was nice to be able to kind of work out with them. Um, and I didn't do it often, but I would have liked, because, you know, it's one of those things where it's, it's their life now. I don't want to, like, be celebrating the good times of things that I had done. It's like, you do your thing, and I'll just, I'll support you and watch you from afar, but there's always that twinge of wanting to get involved and, you know, relive the days kind of thing. I might get a lion done today. We shall see. I think it's more bags than this, but maybe not. But I can do this the next stream too. I think the next stream too is gonna be, it'll be Thursday. And if I do Thursday night, I can do it. I don't know what's going on Thursday night from the convention hall, but what I might be able to do is wait till, cause by, by Thursday, um, the, uh, the public area or the mocks should all be set up. I think everybody's loading in Wednesday and Thursday. Excuse me. And um, we should be able to uh, do a stream where maybe I just walk around and show everybody the, the mocks that are there. Because I know there's some people who, like me, don't get out to all the conventions. I'd like to start going to more conventions, but, it, you know, I don't know that it's worth my time yet, really. I don't know what I would be doing at these other places, meeting other people, which is all well and good, but I'm not really a people person, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I think it'd be cool to, uh, to meet some other YouTubers, other Lego YouTubers. Um, there's some people who do some, um, they uh, do builds on a, uh, they do kind of the same thing, but they have like a group, uh, a Google group where they all get together and be like, hey, what are you building right now? And so I'd like to join those more often, but most of the time when they do that, I'm at work. So I can't really, oh, whoops, that's right. Oh, now it's just flipping over and showing me the other side. Um, so I'd like to meet those few people that I've kind of become friends with. Um, and some other people that I don't know really well, but you know, they're, they're doing the same thing that I am. Um, like Asgardian Bricks is one, Iceberg Bricks is one. Um, uh, there's a bunch, Imp Bricks, did some stuff with uh, instructions and whatnot. Um, Bricksmith uh, does a lot of hosting for like those groups and whatnot. So those kind of people, Kevin Hinkle, um, but I already know Kevin from back in the days when he was with the lug here and was the manager of the store here so but that was you know years and years ago <clears throat> do, 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 do. so this is so far not a you know not a terribly complicated build it's pretty fun no like super new techniques or anything but 
Um, I'd be interested to see how it all ties together when it's when you transform it. And this is going to be one of those sets too, where I'm going to I'm going to build it and have it be the big robot with the sword and the shield, and then like every month or so, I'll take it apart, change it over into the lions, and then just kind of leave them as the lions for a little bit, and then take them apart and kind of do that. All right. Oh, and here's the first of our stickers. So where did I put those stickers? Oh, they're there. So this is lion number five. This is Hunk's lion, the yellow lion. Very strong, comes from the desert. Kind of the ground of the crew. It's not like there's really any elementalness with these guys. Oh man, that's gonna bother me. Oh, I always get it on slightly crooked and then it bothers me. And, but taking it off ruins the sticker, so I'm just gonna kind of leave it. <clears throat> so this is interesting. A little trash can on top of there. So yeah, number five. Yes, Lisa, today is my birthday and it's been a great day so far. I got to, oh, that's interesting. Shows that it's flat. Got to see the kids, got some gifts, been doing this, got to sleep in a little bit. Uh-oh, did I put that? I put it on upside down on top of it. That can't be right. Oh, I did. All right. That, that sorts that. Now if I can, uh, I'm going to old man this and take my glasses off because I can't see. Hey, y'all. I'm 46 now. Oh, I just took the lamination off the sticker. That's crazy. I'm 46 and I can't see out of my glasses. So here's to getting old. Damn it. I don't have a box cutter or anything I can redo this with. There we go. Uh, and this, so that means this sticker is going to come off at some point. Cause I already stuck it on twice. This is something I was never really good at when I was doing modeling either, was the decals. I was okay with the paint, but I wasn't okay with the decals. I was just crap with them. All right, that goes here. Like so. It's probably gonna be the little cannon that goes in the back, or maybe the front, I don't know. I've listened to a lot of uh, this channel in doing this uh, stream and I start recognizing the songs. So it's like, hmm, maybe I should uh, find a different stream. But I like the music, so <clears throat> I built four of these. The Capitol building is getting really repetitive right now. It's like I'm top capping all the walls so it's, you know, put 400 inverted slopes along the top of the wall. Now cover those with four by four bricks. Just repeatedly. It's like it takes an hour to do one level of the walls. But, you know, for that many pieces, the fact that we've got so much done in two months, it's still kind of... I think we could have got it done had I had a little more time to do it. But we were out of town for a week, um, had a couple birthdays and graduations and people coming into town. And, and there are also days where I just, you know, you get home from work and you're like, I don't effing feel like doing it. I don't feel good, I'm sick, or you know, I'm tired, or I wanna go out with my friends, or you know. So, can't be all Lego all the time, but I feel like that's the only way it would've got completed. And to be fair, um, I offered for everybody to come over and build. And a good number of people did, but not everybody. So I can't, I can't only blame myself, and I can't blame anybody else. But it was a team effort getting as far as we did. That's for sure. And I don't think those people are watching currently, but if they are, thank you so much for the help.
This song's familiar too. I don't know why. Ow. Ooh. Interesting. Mmm. That's pretty. I know they don't have to be like no studs showing on sets because it's Lego after all, but that's just pretty. I really like the way that looks. Nice stripe going on there. And flip it around and do the same thing. I think this song sounds familiar because it's played on this channel before. And Beth is just over there giggling because she's watching Big Bang Theory. Got two stripes going. Very nice. Very nice. I think that Austin Amber slowly becoming kind of my main, my go-to, mostly because 7-Eleven carries it. And it's just easy to go run over there if you want some beer. Not like, you know, I go weeks without drinking beer, but every once in a while it's like, I really, would really like a beer. It's hot, you did some yard work, you were out doing stuff. You just kind of want it. So there are gonna be some events at Brick Fiesta I'm hoping to take part of, part in. Um, there's gonna be like blind builds and they have a thing called standing builds where you get the whole thing and you can't you have to use your body, like your stomach or your chest or your legs or whatever to be able to, and then just build the whole thing while you're standing still. You're not allowed to put anything down, so that's fun. Uh, they have a blind build, which you get a big cardboard box and you have your hands, right? And they've got cameras or they got whatever, so you can see what, people can see what you're doing, but you can't see what you're doing. You have to be able to build just with that. Then they have ones where you're blindfolded and it's kind of the same thing as a blind build, but you don't have the instructions. Somebody else tells you the instructions. And they say, okay, you need to put this piece, you know, it's a three by one plate and it goes on this thing, you know? And that would be a lot. I think I'm volunteering for that. I don't know if I signed up for that or not, but that seems like it'd be a lot of fun. And um, then of course they have the, uh, and of course, you know, colors and whatnot don't really, count you know if you get the colors wrong it's like you can't see them so you can't really tell but in most cases colors are not gonna you know like here the colors would be different so but it'll be fun and there's a couple uh, keynote speakers that I'm looking forward to um, the guy who did the uh, the rocket ride will be there so I'm gonna try to get him to sign the box that I got um, but we'll see I, I foresee a lot of kind of standing around answering questions on the public day about about the capital like how long did it take you how many pieces is it how much did it cost of which i can only really say it took we started building at the beginning of may it has 65,000 pieces and honestly i don't know how much it costs because i really don't um the uh a lot of the parts come from uh lug support, they come from donations, they come from people offering to use their lug bulk program to uh, buy parts for, some of it just comes from their own stash. Uh, like I have pulled a couple pieces from my stash just to get it done or to fill out, you know, we need 50 parts and I have 30 of them. So then we're like, well, let's just, let's order 20. <clears throat> So it comes from a lot of sources and I'm not exactly sure at this point how many uh, how many pieces it is exactly like there's I just there's no way to know I didn't tally the whole time we were doing it all right so let's take a look at this make sure we're good nothing looks out of place because we're at the end of we're at the end of this one we're on to bag two Bag two. You really can see that. This camera's not great. 
So these are the extra parts for this bag. Seems like a lot of extra parts, but not really. That's just one bag though. I'm trying to figure out a place to put these. All right, so we've got a half hour left. I can crack open another bag. I don't think we'll get through it, but. Bag crunchly, crunch, crunching sound, crackling sound. Oh, so satisfying. So satisfying. Flatten it out. Make sure there's no parts in it. Into the box. Small bag. Let's run bag two of the Voltron set for those just joining. This is my birthday present for from my Beth to me. Ooh, and we're done with that beer. So now to the Super Nut Cookies and Cream Ale. This is really good. Oh man, just so good. It's got like a, it's a cookies and cream, but it's got kind of a burnt marshmallow flavor to it. Something's a little smoky in there and that's just, that's very nicely done. I know this isn't great lighting, and so I hope everybody can see what's going on here, so. So when you guys build, and I don't know who's really in the chat to uh, respond, but when you guys build, do you sort everything or do you just go by bag? Do you like pull them out and go all plates over here, all tiles over here? Because I just dump the bag and go. Um, I don't know if that adds any extra time because I'm now I'm having to look for everything or what, but. So if anyone is interested in seeing this done to completion, I can totally wait and do this even on a, on some more days next week, maybe. I can just kind of leave this as is when we get done with it. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, we can do that. Because I don't mind. I mean, it's going to, I've got room on the table and we don't have any parties or anything coming up. Beth may not look too fondly on just leaving Lego out, but I mean, I've been doing that for four years, so don't think it's gonna be much of a problem. Also, link in the description in the YouTube channel. If you haven't yet, please go uh, send some support to the Barn Owl I uh, Lego Ideas set. Um, I'm under a year away from getting 500 votes, and I'm up to 150, so I've got 350 to go, it's kind of Herculean effort. Once the initial uh, newness wears off, it's hard to get more votes, um, unless I provide some updates. So I'm gonna try to update the stand a little bit once Brick Fiesta's done. Um, so we'll see. But if you could go show some support for that, I would very much appreciate it. I haven't done any, um, I was thinking of doing a Patreon thing. I think I mentioned this last time, but I'm not, I think I would only do it really to see if I could get people to subscribe to the channel um, and then use that monthly funds to go get more Lego. But if I got more Lego, it'd mean more videos of me building stuff, so. But I don't know what I would offer in terms of rewards. It's like, I, I do live streams and that's about it. I don't do like recorded videos yet to where I'd be like offering um, exclusive videos or anything like that. Um, so anyway, I don't think, you know, there's the donate button in the bottom for PayPal, which is kind of the level I'm at. Like if you like what you see, you can donate and then I can buy more sets to build or buy sets to review, new sets. I get new sets to review, but there's so many people doing new sets, new set reviews, and they do them better than I do and they have better rigs and better cameras. 
Um, so I, I like my niche of uh, niche niche of um, being the guy who designs Star Wars sets. I think that's kind of fun. And I will get back to that. I'll be more designing and building, but I've got to uh, get through the next couple weeks. Oh, also, at some point, our uh, lug bulk um, invoices just came in, so we'll be getting, we'll be paying for those and then getting those from Lego um, in the next few months, I'm sure. This is, we got the invoices a little later this year. Last year, we got them around April or May, and um, we got our brick by July. Um, and then we had it like sorted and ordered out and everything by then, by August sometime. But I think it's going to be later, like October, probably before we get it this year. If you're not familiar with um, uh, with lug bulk, it is a uh, um, if you're a member of a Lego user group and you're kind of registered with the Lego company or the Lego group. Um, I'm, you're not really supposed to talk about this too much, but they do have a program where you can buy in bulk from Lego. If you're a part of a, a, a user group and you're in good standing and you provide uh, public events, um, so that the idea is that you buy Lego uh, from the group and it's relatively cheap, and then you use that to build things to go to events, right? Um, or put on shows like we're doing with Brick Fiesta or go to Maker Fairs or stuff like that. Um, Hello, Relevant Yeti is now following. Oh, Relevant Yeti, thank you very much for following. I know you've been here uh, for a little while, but thanks for the follow. Um, cool Corgi. Do I have a Corgi somewhere around here? I don't, we have a dog and a cat. I don't know where the Corgi is. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so maybe a future stream I will unbox all the lug bulk that I get. I think most of it was for me this year. Last year I did it was for the capital. So I kind of I kind of blew my wad on getting capital parts, which is where a lot of them came from. Um, and again, this Thursday, hopefully if I can figure it out technically, I will do some sort of stream from Brick Fiesta. Oh, this is totally, I can totally tell where they're going with this. It's a one by two brick. Oh, that's focus is so bad. One by two brick with two technicals in it. Um, and uh, they probably just wanted the holes farther out. I would have, I would have done a one by one, but, and then supported it on, on top, but that's just me. But I get what they're going with. I'm picking up what they're putting down. I also might try to get back into drawing a little bit. I know uh, YouTuber Kevin Hinkle, YouTuber and all around um, good Lego guy, Kevin Hinkle, who's just a he's, a, he's a good artist, he's a nice guy. He's got a lot of Lego. He worked for Lego for a while. Um, he was thinking about doing like a drawing stream because he does a doodle stream where he just, once a week just kind of Fs around with drawing on a tablet. But he's got like, he's got, he designs shirts. He does, he has a web comic about Lego. And uh, I told him, I was like, you know what? We should do like a group hangout where we both doodle. And he's like, that sounds great. I would love to do that. So maybe, uh, I don't know when I'd be able to do that. I'd like a better rig, a better setup to show off the drawings. Cause I mean, this webcam is not great. Um, I could use some better lighting. Cause right now it's like, I just throw my laptops together in a place and just kind of go. Another sub assembly on top of the sub assembly. Wait for the kick, wait for the kick. Um, where's that? Interesting, all right. So that's an interesting bit. Not sure what that, I'd never done that before. That's cool. So here's a little bit of a new build technique. 
because I'm guessing now that it's a cube with a little handle in it so it can attach to something. Chat is very quiet. Let me know what y'all are doing. I also wanted to get, so there's somebody I was talking to about doing a uh, time lapse. By the way, the time lapse for the, uh, the Capitol just kind of went tets up because um, I, uh, I was using my phone as the camera and I had this little stand on top of this kind of cubby in the room that the Capitol is being built in. And uh, invariably, as soon as I turned on the time lapse and got to work on it, my phone would blow up. Like people would be calling or texting or, you know, some go off and I'd have to get out and stop it and look and see what was up. And then it was just, you know, it was frustrating. So I only got like maybe halfway through it and then I just gave up on it. Um, I don't have a dedicated camera for it and I don't have the, uh, really the knowledge to do something like that for long term. But w I suggested also that uh, we do something for Brick Fiesta for um, the setup for the, uh, the day of the setup where everybody, all the tables come out and all the, uh, and I think this was Kevin's idea too, Kevin Hinkle's idea. Um, so we get a time lapse of all the mocks being put in place. Um, which I thought was a great idea. So I asked somebody in our group if they could swing that and they said they would let me know. I'm not gonna be in charge of it. I don't, you know, I don't know exactly what I'd be doing with it, but. Oh. This looks intricate. So yeah, the streaming next week may be like solitarily. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it on OBS. I can't do YouTube because I don't have enough subscribers. So it may just be Twitch or Mixer or Facebook, um, which kind of sucks, but what are you gonna do? Not my rules, stupid Google rules. Which way does it go? Oh, this is a weird direction. All right, so I don't know if you can see that. So that's a uh, the tile with one by two by two tile with the two studs. So I don't know what its orientation is supposed to be. I don't think it matters, but that also means, oh yeah, it totally does matter. Cause there's axles in there. You can't put them in those axles. All right. Fair enough. I guess that was question answered. So also if you're watching this and you are a musical artist and you have music that you would like featured, I will totally hook you up. You just let me know and I will We'll work on getting your music featured as we build and drink. Although to be honest, if you are a, a musician, you probably aren't watching this or would rely on getting your name out on a small channel like this. So it's all good. All right, whatever this is is super smooth. I really like the kind of, oh wait. Failure. It was super smooth and then I effed it up. There we go. Now it's super smooth. I like the, the red rolling thing around it. My guess is it's gonna slide in between here somehow, like that. It's gonna be the head, and then that's gonna be the foot. Right? Head, and then foot. That's my guess. Okay. Got about 10 minutes left. Um, 
I hope all of you have a good 4th of July week. And I realize the 4th of July is actually Thursday. So that, but that's our first load in day. So I'm not, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing that day. And I think maybe that night after the first load in day, I know that there's things going on at the convention, but it's like, I may come back home and watch fireworks with my family because holidays. Do, 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 do. Oh, also World Cup's going on. Um, very excited to see the the World Cup team doing well, and they beat uh, France two to three to one, two to zero. I forget what the score was. Um, they were looking a little shaky. I'm not gonna lie; like they weren't as strong as I thought they could be. Um, Rapino was great, but also not like perfect. Um, Heath looked good. Um, Morgan didn't look great, um, but you know France didn't look much better. They had more possession and um, were slightly more in tune. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Salmon colored one by or two by two with that base clip thing on it. That's very interesting. I'm just gonna check. Yeah, all right. That's a very unique color. I'm very inspired by that. Hello, UK Dalton. How are you doing this fine afternoon? We're ready to getting ready to close up on this. Got about a little less than 10 minutes. I'm not gonna get through this bag, but um, I think I will hold off and do the rest as much as I want to. I think this is, if you want to see the rest of this, let me know. If not, I'll just build it and show you the final product later. And we can get back to doing more micro fighters and more designs and what not. Ba -da -da. Ooh, I might get to the point where I can do some fangs and some teeth. Crispy! Chris Powell is in the house. What's up, buddy? Hey, you just woke up from a nap. Don't be like shouting huzz and stuff. I've been watching Uh-huh. Uh, what's up, Chris? Good to see you, man. Hope things are well. Hope things are well with your family. I know things are a little rough right now. I hope things are going well. Um, miss ya, miss seeing ya. Um, we need to get back to the roost and uh, hang out. Yeah, there's some. There's a mouth. I miss going to the roost. The roost is a, there's a bar in town called the Canary Roost and the locals will know of it. It is a dive bar, but it also has the best karaoke of any place in Austin. Um, there are a few places that do the same company and those places are also the best place to do karaoke. But I haven't been in a while so I feel like I need to go. The problem with doing karaoke is that I want to stay till 2 in the morning um, so, I can, so I can sing more. It has nothing to do with drinking or anything but it's, I just like singing. And unfortunately if you have, you just don't know if you're going to be able to get in with the, uh, a good group of people or not and the list might be huge so you're going to be there all night just being able to sing two songs <coughs> but i miss going so that's where chris is that's where i know him from chris also if you're in austin chris is also in a band called the balls go check them out they're a very talented group of musicians musicians and they perform most every like once a month or so almost it seems like you guys got a pretty good gig going lately is that silver yes it is look at that nice piece of silver you can't really tell from there but it's silver it's not chrome it's silver 
So you can, you can totally tell this is gonna be a head of some kind. We'll just roll until this head's done and then we'll wrap it up. How's that? Because <clears throat> I'll have another bag to do after this. Maybe I'll finish up that bag and then we'll do other bags later. You, you guys don't understand how much I'm chomping at the bit just to finish this whole thing, but I'll do whatever the, the masses would like. Although I f fully reserve the right to change my mind and just build it all tonight. Because it's my birthday. Birthday. It's not even my birthday week. It's just my birthday's today. Um, we went to Flying Man Brewing last night and had a wonderful time. Just a quick bite and a quick beverage. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it's a brewery here in Pflugerville. And that's right, I live in a town called Pflugerville. Uh, just goes on like that. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Look at the eyes. Got that blue going on. That's super cool. You know, it's minimum part usage like that that's really that's really sexy. Oh, and I totally missed a spot. That is not sexy. Sometimes I get excited and I don't even look at like the 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 part box. I just look at like what's changed and I'll miss out. <clears throat> and then turn that around and do this and do this ooh slope stuff Yeah, I guess there is a gap there. All right. Interesting gap. Hey, Beth. Are we ordering Chinese? She is not listening. And that's totally cool. I really like... So this, is, this kind of stuff really hypes me out. The way that smooths into uh, the front like that. That's just some good good designing right there. I really like that. Makes the shape of the head so good. too but where's the other piece all right see now I'm freaking out sometimes they roll away sometimes they get knocked down sometimes they even get stuck in the bag I feel like I gotta go through the bag and look for the pieces because that worries me Bag one. What's funny is probably somebody on the stream is just going, it's right there, you idiot, I see it from here. All right, so that's a, uh, that's kind of a downer. And I don't see it. I don't see that I knocked it off anywhere. But I've got a ton of these. I just have to go get that. And they go right here, so I'll just be able to put that on later. I'm 
there's one. Oh, times two. I thought it's, okay. I got confused. It's not times two, it's just step one and two. All right. So there's that, there's that. There's that. All right, so here's the lineup. Ah. So that's cool. There's the clip. And there's this part that I had said was clipping into something, that early design bit. Haha. <sighs> oh wow, you know, this is pretty hefty. That's a really good size. I didn't realize how big these were gonna be. I'm really excited for this. Um, and then I'm guessing this, there's a pole that goes through there to hold it in. Right underneath that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, there's, did I get extra wheel? I did, get an extra bit of that. So those are the pieces. Those are the extra pieces, that's random. All right. So it's 4.30. Um, this is bags one and two of the green or the yellow lion. I could probably go another half hour or so probably and finish that up, but I think I'm done. I kind of want to keep consistency with this. Um, so what I might do is finish out the third bag and um, show off what we got next week. But you can see how that's pretty substantial, right? And I imagine that um, this is gonna be, and I don't know how this is gonna turn into a foot later. Oh, just like that. Oh, because it clips, okay. So yeah, that's gonna be, it's gonna be the foot, it's gonna be the leg. Form, leg, and arms. Form, head, and torso, right? Good stuff so far, I'm really liking it. Um, thanks for everybody for watching. Thanks for everybody who stopped by in uh, Mixer and Twitch, if you did. Uh, I appreciate it. And um, hopefully we'll see you Thursday at Brick Fiesta. If you're in Austin, Brick Fiesta, again, 4th through the 7th, July. Um, public days are the 6th and the 7th, so Saturday and Sunday. Um, come by and see the Capitol. Um, some other models that I've got going on. Some other stuff uh, brought in by people. I hear there's like a bunch of really giant builds. This year is uh, Think Green or build green or something like that is to you know show off lego's new uh plant-based uh plastics where they're building plastic or they're building trees and plants out of reusable plastics so uh that's the theme this year um so we'll see uh thanks again for coming in and we'll talk to you later bye